Today, we are going to be starting campfires using the laziest and craziest ways that I could come up with. We have everything from using the power of the sun, using pressure, chemical evaporation, chemicals, and friction. Now, always remember to practice safety first. So if you're here only to see what the best way to start a campfire is, my favorite go-to is always a small little lighter like this one. They pack down small, they work even if it's raining out, and they just kind of always work. However, for this video, it's just not fun enough. Oh, I, I should make sure that's, that's we're not starting a fire. Hang on. No matter which ignition source we use, first you'll have your tinder, which tends to be right here. I've just got paper, but I've used birch bark, napkins, leaves, anything that really just burns on its own very easily and you generally need just a small little bit. And then you'll have your tinder, which are your small little branches like this, and even smaller, like in this kind of range here. And you'll set that on top of your tinder, and then those flames will lick up and light it, and then eventually you'll move into your bigger firewood. And this can range to everything up to, you know, a big log that you want to light on fire. So I'm going to start with what's probably the laziest of them all, boiled linseed oil. For this one, you tend to hear about it in like construction projects where somebody was staining the cabinets, left a rag with some of the oil on it in the dumpster, and then you've got a big old dumpster fire. This one actually happened to my parents at their house when their house was being remodeled. So this one might take a while to ignite, so we're going to soak this piece of paper and we'll see how long it takes. We'll just keep it on the side while we work on everything else. I'm not really seeing any action on it yet. So we'll try the next one. You may have seen like the spindle on the bow where you've got like a stick in a piece of wood and you go back and forth, back and forth and the friction heats it up enough that you get a little ember. But that is way too much effort. We are going lazy here. So what I've got is I've got a drill where we're going to drill a little hole and then we've got a stick that we'll put in the drill to spin around in there and try to create an ember. There we go, nice little hole. Okay, so we've got our hole. Now, the tip of this, I'm just gonna whittle it down a little bit so that it'll fit in that hole. hole might be a little too big. So I'm going to try to cut some of this taper off. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, that is not round at all. I'm gonna try to cut it a little shorter. It looks like it'll do. And let me grab a piece of tinder so that we, can, if we, once we have an ember, we can try to ignite it into a bigger fire. Maybe we can like tap an ember out. I don't really see any embers. Just kind of some blackened char. <laughs> Let's move on to the next method. Next up, we have the fire piston. So for this one, we've got char cloth. 
but you take a little piece of that out, just like that. And it's almost kind of like felt or something. You then want to put it on the end of your fire piston. Just kind of pack it in there. And then you put it, this just a tube that it goes in and there's an O-ring here to seal it. So then it builds a lot of air pressure as the piston goes down. So let's test it out. Not hard enough. Ooh, we had it there for a sec on that time. So let's take some of that paper here that we have a nice little bed to put it in. That ember we'll put into here before moving it over to the fire pit. Let's try a new piece of char cloth. We'll just put the old piece in there. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Uh. You literally burned a hole through the piece of paper there, though. See that, guys? We're getting close. Wow, we burned a new hole through the piece of paper. <coughs> we just can't get it past the ember stage is the problem. All right, I think it's time to move on to the next method. This one isn't working. Just a quick update on our boiled linseed still just sitting there it hasn't burst into flames yet so next i think we should try another method that might take a while and it's this little mirror that supposedly you can light things with the power of the sun so let's get it set up they show where like a little cigarette sits in a spring and i guess you can light a cigarette i don't smoke so i wouldn't know how you do that All right, let's see. Okay, so it looks like there's two springs. That one sits there. That one sits there, easy enough. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so we've got the sun. Let's try some of this paper in there. And we'll see what happens. We'll give it some time and come back to that. I started playing around with this a little bit and I think I figured it out. So what you need to do is get, you basically want it pointed directly at the sun and then see how there's the little reflection there. You need it basically on the bottom end of the paper like that and then you'll get a flame. Oh, there's a little smoke. Well, I'm kind of wondering if we're just too far north for this to really work. We're getting a really good smolder out of it, a lot of smoke, but just no ignition. So I think we might just be, like, basically I'm holding it at an angle like that to get it at, pointed at the sun. So I wonder if we were further south, if we could get a little bit better of an ignition on it. You can see though that there's a nice char on it though. So it's like, almost working well it's kind of a bummer all of those were a bust but finally we have our last fire starting method using chemicals we've got some brake fluid here and some chlorine when you mix them they will spontaneously combust so since we're not going to want to be anywhere near this when it goes off i'm going to get all my wood in here first and then we'll light her up so we've got our tinder our kindling Get it all in there. We're gonna use this water bottle. Let me finish her off. This will 
put those granules in there. That there. Remember, safety first. We'll mix the brake fluid. is how you start a campfire. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, don't play with matches. Try out another method instead. I'll see you guys then.